Rhonda Conrad. Um, I'm the nurse manager for Lower Columbia Hospice, and I've been with CMH right around nine years now. So here at hospice, patients come to us in their, their last six months of life, anywhere within that final time frame. We cover all of Clatsop County, and our goal is to, to really wrap people up with as much support as we can during those final months. We focus on providing symptom management for their illness, um, but also for, for providing as much quality of life as we can for as long as we can. There are oftentimes families who come to hospice and they don't, they, they don't have any experience in, in knowing how to care for their loved ones during those moments. And so part of what we do is also to educate those family members on how they can take care of their loved ones during those months. The team here at hospice, it, I really, I can honestly say I have never worked with such a phenomenal group of people. They, they are just tremendous. There is a common goal that that's really the foundation of everything we do. So whether we're, we're hatching a plan for how to help a family, every decision that we make is from the viewpoint of how can we support each other so then we can in turn support the family that we're working with. They're just a phenomenal group of people. There's, there's no ego involved. Everything they do um, is, is for each other and for the community. Another thing I think people don't don't realize with hospice care is that, you know, we often have patients who will take up and travel. They'll, they'll take that trip that they've been wanting to do for a long time and um, still really enjoying the time that they have left and the quality of life that we can provide um, gives them the support to do that. And then I think there's just been a change in family dynamics as a whole where we're really utilizing a lot of different services to jump in and help out. It's funny because as a nurse, when people find out that you work for hospice, the usual response that you get is, oh, that must be so hard. And there's this immediate sadness. And it, certainly parts of it are hard. Uh, parts of what we do are very emotionally draining. Um, but really what I find is that it's such an incredible privilege to do what we do. People are amazing. You're, you're invited into someone's home and you're allowed to, to step in the midst of what's probably one of the most challenging things that they're gonna go through. We're treated like family, and then we're allowed to stand witness during some really remarkably difficult times and some incredibly touching times. We are allowed to help in any way that we possibly can, and we get to watch people as they, they muster the strength and the courage to go through what they're going through. It's, gosh, really just such a privilege to see that there's still so much joy and so much beauty um, and to be allowed to help in those moments, it's fantastic.